juniors. My name is Miss McCone and I am one of the counselors here at IHS. If you do not know me, I serve students with last names H-A-N through L-A. And today I'm gonna talk about the high school and beyond plan and what you need to complete for your junior year portion. So as you can see, I'm currently on the College and Career Center website. This is where the high school and beyond plan is housed and where all the information about it will live. So if you need help getting to the College and Career Center website initially, you can either get there through our regular high school website, our counseling website, or even if you just Google Issaquah High School College and Career Center, you will get right to this website. So what's really great is that Ms. Stevens has actually put this little tab at the top um, that'll just shoot you right to the High School and Beyond plan. So I'm gonna click on that and it'll just bring you right to this page. So as you can see on the left, there's a bunch of information about the grade level assignments, login information for student and parent in case you've forgotten. Um, and then if I scroll down, this is where each year's portion lives. So I'm gonna click on juniors. So these are your responsibilities to complete in career cruising for junior year in order for that to be checked off. If you click under here, these are the detailed instructions for the 11th grade portion. I already have them pulled up, so I'm just going to click on this. And this is extremely helpful. Ms. Stevens has taken a lot of time to really make sure that every step is really clear, really concise, and you can either keep it on this uh, tab and just have it on a different tab as you're working back and forth, or you can print it out. Uh, and sometimes that's easier to kind of cross it off or highlight things or just to follow along as you are going along. As you can see, the beginning has more information about your login information. I know sometimes it can be confusing and you can forget what your login was from previous years. So this is really handy for you there. Then here are the list of all the assignments that you have to complete. So we are going to start with assignment one, which is reviewing your career matchmaker assessment results and saving four careers of interest. So you'll go ahead and log on. I am going to just work on my sample student and kind of walk through some of these um, assignments so that you can follow along. Something really handy to know when you are navigating career cruising is anytime you get stuck in a page or you don't know how to get back to the home page per se, you can just go right under your name here and you'll click my plan and it'll bring you to this page where you can navigate everything from there. So anytime, just go back to that my plan. So the first thing is we're gonna review the ninth grade assignment that you completed. Um, which is the my the matchmaker and my skills. So you can either click my assessments and it'll get you there, or you could have seen it on the other page as well. So you should have an option right here of when you did finish your matchmaker the first time. If you have not done that yet, you'll need to complete that before you can do this. Um, but you should be able to click on that. So mine is called test. You click on that and these are what the results were for my test uh, matchmaker that I did. So these are the top 40 careers that they said that would match to what I'm interested in. So what you need to do here is you will either go right here where it says improve my results you'll either answer more questions which i highly recommend because the more data that you give career cruising the better um, and the more accurate that your results will be and you can review your answers as well so if i click on review this is what i had answered the first time so maybe i decide okay since ninth grade to now i think maybe working outdoors in any weather, uh, I'm not really that interested in that anymore. Maybe working in an office, that sounds more like my style. So you can go through, change any of that. If you don't have anything to change, that's fine. 
And then you can go down here, save and update your career suggestions. You can also go over here to the level of education. If you decide I was more open when I was in ninth grade and maybe now I know I definitely want to go to a four year. I definitely want to go to a two year and then you can uncheck or recheck, update your results and see how anything changes that way. As you're scrolling through these careers, let's say I do a federal agent, I look through it, I learn some information about it. Then I can, and you can also, before I do that, you can go on the side here and look at earnings, education, job description, working conditions, so much information um, is available to you. So take your time, kind of go through all of that. And then if I decide I want to do it, I save to my plan right there. After I have gone through all of my careers, I've decided that I have added four to my plan. I can go back here, click on my plan, click on my careers, and then right here, my saved careers. And then I can add comments to any of these careers that I want to remember. So some things that would be helpful to add in as comments would be what interests me about this career? What would I like to learn about the skills that are needed to um, do that career? What classes or activities could help me be more prepared for that career and so on? If there is a career that did not pop up on your inventory, but you're really interested in it, let's say you want to be a nurse, but it didn't pop up when you took your career inventory, then you can click here on find careers. And you can search for the career that way and add that as well. So just remember, once you have four careers saved, you are good to go for assignment number one for junior year. Now the next assignment for your junior year high school and beyond plan is to find a minimum of two schools and save those to my plan. So remember, we always go back to my plan. And now we will start the next section. There are two ways to go about searching for schools. The first one we will talk about is starting from your saved careers and then finding schools with majors based off of that. So we're gonna start by going to my education and then we will click on my saved schools. Actually, we'll go to my saved majors first. So my saved majors, then you're going to click find majors related to my saved careers. So these were the saved careers that I had. Remember, you need four. And these are the related programs or majors that are associated with those careers. So I can click on those. Let's say I click on criminal justice. And then here are all of the schools in the state of Washington and what level of degree program they are that have that major. So if you're interested in other states and going out um, of Washington in order to attend college, you can click here, add edit states, and you can click however many that you are considering. So if I say Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and Montana, and then I update my results, now I'm seeing even more schools. Now that I have expanded where I am interested in. Now, if one of these seems interesting to you, let's say I see Boise State. I'm like, that is interesting. Again, all of this information on the side here that you can read into, see some more information. And then if I say, you know, Boise State's one of my top schools, I'm going to save to my plan just like that. Now the second way to search for schools, you're gonna go right back to my plan again to get to this page. You're gonna click on education, school selector, undergraduate schools, 
unless you're wanting to do career and technical colleges, that's an option as well. And then you can go through and click, maybe I want public, maybe I want four year, location and setting. I want, let's say these four schools again, or these four states again. Admissions difficulty, maybe moderately difficult, and I can go so on, so on. And once I press view results, all of these schools will pop up just like the last way that we did this. So same thing, maybe I say Oregon State. I'm gonna check that out. I'm gonna read some information about that. And I'd already saved this one to my plan, but I could save that to my plan. And that is the other way to look for schools. Remember that you need two schools saved in my plan in order to complete your junior year portion. Back to my plan to get to this homepage. Last way that you can search for schools, if you, same thing about if there was a career that you thought was interesting but didn't pop up right away. If there's a school that you're interested in that didn't pop up right away, you can click on education and then search it right here. And then search and it'll pop up and you can add it that way as well. I'm gonna go back to my plan. And that is all you need to do for the second assignment of saving schools. The third assignment you'll need to complete for your junior year portion of your high school and beyond plan is the financial aid selector. So this guides you through an exploration of scholarships, grants, awards, fellowships, and other programs to help with post high school plans. So you're gonna use the financial aid selector via the financial aid tab financial aid selector and then i'm not going to go through and fill this out but this is where you will put in all of your personal information a bunch of other questions on the side here and then you're going to view results so once you've filled it all out if i click view results Obviously, nothing was found here just now because I didn't put any information in. But once this populates some information, you can click Save to my plan there. And that's all you have to do for that. Now, once you are done with the financial aid selector, you'll go back to my plan. And then you will go to my goals and plans, and this is your fourth assignment in your junior year high school and beyond plan. And you will click on post secondary plan. And this is where you will record information about career goals, educational goals, and financial plans. And make sure all that is saved. And then you will be done with that. Now I will go back to my plan. Those were the four assignments that are due on December 1st for your high school and beyond plan for a junior year. A nice handy little thing here is the progress bar. So right now it says I'm at 82%. I have not completed my entire junior year portion. Once you do, just a quick check is, oh, it's only at 82%, I'm not done, I'm missing something. An easy way to figure out what you are missing, you go up to that progress bar, you click view details, and it will show you what you're missing. So I'm missing the learning styles inventory from previous years. Financial aid selector, I haven't finished that. I'm missing one of my skills and abilities. So that way you can click right to it and get that done right there. So that's really, really handy when you're trying to figure out if you have everything done. Something to note is that you do have to complete all of the years up through junior year. So if for some reason you didn't complete all of your freshman year portion or all of your sophomore year portion, or if you're a transfer student, anything like that, you will have to work all the way up through junior year in order for you to have your progress at 100%. So make sure you go to the College and Career Center website. 
click on this high school and beyond plan link at the top so that you can get straight to the instructions and really make sure that you are going through this instructions page step by step because it has so much helpful information if you have any questions at any point feel free to reach out to Ms. Stevens at the College and Career Center or one of your counselors. Thank you.